from the beginning here, Cable. She had a, a big, strong mind of her own. Uh, she is beyond energetic. Sometimes I have to go hide in the closet from her. She's just honestly amazing. I'm the loud one, I'm the one that wants to do stuff and, you know, I don't want to sit down and it takes a special set of people <laughs> to get through to me, to actually, you know, make me see things that I think that make sense, but it doesn't make sense, so to say to them. He just wants to continue to love. He wants to definitely let it be known like, hey, you know, I know you're mad at me right now, but I'm not going to sleep without telling you that I love you. Um, that's when I have about different things as well, but we take the time to get out and talk it out. Previous to my daughter, Cabri, I had lost a child before then. Being told by a doctor that I would never have kids again. But it never dawned on me that, you know, I could possibly be pregnant. So I went ahead and I took the test and two lines popped up. And when I realized that it wasn't okay, is when, you know, things start to change for me. I get to the hospital and we find out there with a the miscarriage. It just sank in that it is really happening, but you know, I, I gotta trust in God. I got to, and we're going on 20 weeks. I'm excited, really, 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 really hoping for a boy. Just to see this baby grow up like our daughter, and just an extra person to love, an extra person to put gray hair in Larry's head. Over the years, after we've had Cambridge, she didn't think that she would get pregnant again. But like I told her, it was all on God time. Just give it time, just give it time, it will come, it will come. Oh boy.